Hello, welcome back to Blender Session Live. Today I will be demonstrating an add-on for Blender for baking. And the name is BBB or Bystats Blender Baker. So this is the add-on. Um, it's actually currently available for free if you search for it. So Bystead Blender Baker. Uh, just find this, uh, I think on Blender Market or something or Gumroad. So the idea is if you have like a, like a 3D sculpt, uh, like for example, this is the one I made uh, on the iPad. Let's see, and I'm using an app called Nomad Sculpt. Uh, this app, I like this app because we can do like a quick sculpt, sometimes uh, a little bit faster than Blender, especially when you do the painting using PBR. So this app, if you create like a new file, the cool thing about this, okay apart from you know like sculpting just like inside blender you can actually paint and this is the one that's i think kind of missing in blender so you can you can actually use your brush and while you're using your brush you can do like a painting using pbr material and i think this is pretty cool and in, in blender if you want to do this uh, you can you can do that as well, but you need to layer um, the paint together and blending the PBR, uh, mixing the PBR. But anyway, anyway, this this app uh, allow you to export uh, the result, and I'm gonna show you. So based on the one we have earlier, I already exported here. Okay. Let's see. So let's close this first. So this is the mesh coming from Nomad Sculpt, and we can see the texture if we switch on the vertex because it's using vertex color. So let's save this very quickly. BBB bake frog. Okay. Oops. So this guy over here, if we look at the shader, this is the one that's coming from Nomad Sculpt. It's actually coming with two vertex color. With Nomad Sculpt, it's actually using vertex color for the PBR, which is actually really interesting. And the way you want to break and set up the color is gonna be like this. R go to roughness, G to the metallic. And now you can see the shader. It's exactly like inside uh, Nomad Sculpt. So now we are ready to do the baking. So normally to do the baking in Blender, if you want to do it just using Blender without the add-on, you just switch to cycles and then you, you look under the bake. So you can bake it this way using selected to active and all the steps. But with the BBB, uh, you kind of do it automatically. So including all this roughness, diffuse, glossy, ambient occlusions that you need to change manually normally. Now you can do it uh, very fast. So by default, this is how it looks like. This is from Nomad Sculpt. It's really high density. And we want to bake it. We want to reduce the, the data, the polygon count. So the first thing I usually do is to remesh. So I'm gonna remesh this one and just totally reduce the resolutions. Usually 0 0.02 or we can even go lower sometimes. Yeah, something like this. It's a good density. Command A, just apply that. Gonna save again. Oh, by the way, I'm using Blender 2.93, which, which is the official. So I didn't go experimental. Shade smooth this. Okay, we're gonna try to bake this high resolutions. I just name it high. This one is low. Low resolution is a good one if you want to do like augmented reality or AR and you want to share it with your friend. You need to share it. You need to make it optimized and efficient. So 
let's get rid of this material so this guy have the material from nomad sculpt this one just blank i can add material there but we don't worry we don't need that so file save as i will save it into a folder so it's a little bit tidier blend bbb demo this is save it over there and i will use uh i will specify the path i think we just accept we just do that and then the way we do this so we have this resolution 512 by 512 by default we can increase it anytime we're gonna bake from high resolutions to low resolutions i'm selecting the low resolutions create a bake collections now it we have these collections with low underneath um, we can you now create bake pass I, I made five of them diffuse actually base color yeah i think base color is like diffuse metallic roughness where is roughness we can also bake the ambient occlusions and there's this displacement i'm just gonna bake the the normal in this case <clears throat> so i'm selecting low and we have this active object low i will add a slot here and then just specify high so we can have like multiple high objects that we want to bake into low sometimes you do that so by the way with this guy i haven't made a uv so i go to edit mode using tab smart uv project so now we have a uv for this guy and we have really high density vertex color on this guy that we want to bake into this so let's see i overlap them just uh, try we can bake this separately like if I click on this button, it's gonna bake. I believe it's gonna be inside here. So we have base color. Hmm, it's empty. That's weird, right? Supposedly, it should just work. I think. Let me try bake all collections. No, now it's doing the baking occasionally it doesn't seem to be working which is pretty strange like this in this case uh, let me double check yeah. I have the low resolutions smart uv project again okay we didn't seem to have the uv before i don't know i don't know why okay just bake all collection again now it's actually working so it's doing everything automatically it's doing the bake okay it it crashes it's uh i think the add-on still kind of work in progress sometimes it's doing it's crashing which is pretty or maybe it's my, my mac os is still better so maybe it's a good idea just to have it like this and then since we already we already bake we already bake the base metallic and roughness we just need the ambient occlusion and the normal select the low and bake the normal it's gonna take a second and bake the ambient occlusion okay it's done cool so we can now um, actually save create bake preview material so select the low 
create bake review material and we magically have our setup ready with the shader take a look at the shader that's being generated so it's principal bsdf with all this rough nerves metallic already assigned and then we have this ambient occlusions multiplied into our base color which is nice specularity normal okay the normal is also being generated we also have displacement we have the normal okay so now this is actually good for air so we can select the low objects file export glv include selected object only apply modifier if you need to export gltf so we should should have this ready for us let's see it's only one around one megabyte 1.1 megabyte <clears throat> conversion error okay interesting maybe I just get rid of this interesting fake error I have a feeling I will just uh, open the latest blender 3.0 I think there's something with the USD there that needs to be fixed file export GLD seems to be working and this can be exported as usdc command a and ninja frog this is frog jedi so we have our frog jedi here that's been converted and baked from nomad sculpt into usdc using the bbb so like i said if 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 in Blender uh, you want to do like a sculpting and you want to use PBR, you can actually do the same thing. Uh, I'll show you very quickly. File, New, Sculpting. So by default, this is Blender Sculpting. You can have Decimate. Um, let's see, let's just turn on Mirror. You can turn on Dynamic Topology there. This is me just using the mouse. We can have uh, Control brush to invert the brush we can do all sort of thing uh, the thing is we, we don't have the ability to brush to use scalp and also color at the same time but we can always use vertex paint for example and let's say we can for example paint color like red or actually make it like black color so this is uh, black and white for example this is to represent the roughness or the metalness you can do something like this and back to the object mode um, we can go to shading yeah so under the shadings, we can have multiple principal BSDF shader. And then we can use vertex color that we just painted and then just mix, mix the shader. So this shader and this shader, I want one of them to be metallic based on the color. So we can do exactly that. 
right click shade smooth so you know you, you can see the one i painted before so you now if we go back to the vertex paint and we are still painting with that we can have metalness and we can also have this rough material combined together so i think this is kind of nice one thing that's missing is probably if you want to do the brush and sculpting and vertex paint at the same time i don't think you can do that at the moment but maybe you can have there is an add-on that actually kind of doing this you can have grayscale and then you start painting so this is kind of in between in between this red color material and also the blue color kind of combined together so we have like this pur purplish color and you can also use like a other texture oops noise for example just add noise to the color or metallic So now if we have we have this noise that we can also plug into the normal for example and then you combine together and then and then you bake it using the BBB add-on. So you can have normal map noise texture plug into uh, actually you can use bump maybe. color goes into the height okay now we have the normal with the strengths control and you can totally bake you can totally bake this separately using the by stat uh, this add-on so you can have lo this is like high resolution mesh you can bake this into low lower resolutions just like we did before earlier with the skull from Nomad all right so hopefully you find this interesting and useful it's a it's really i think mixing pbr material while you're painting is really really useful and yeah and now that you can you can use this add-on by sets blender baker to bake the texture it's made everything much easier all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye